Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've put up a video, so I just wanted to give you a quick explanation as to why and give you know kind of a life update um, and farm update and things like that. So several reasons um, for why I slow down making videos, like things on the farm get super busy. I love YouTube, but it's not my full-time job, like it, that's farming, um, that always comes first. So things got super busy with planting, we had a little bit of replanting. Um, and then I've been very grateful, but also very busy with my own business, Heart of the Midwest, um, selling boutique clothes and then shirts that I've designed for agriculture. If you hadn't seen any of those previous videos. Um, so again, like I said, very grateful for the busyness, but kind of the main reason, um, I stopped posting videos. I have a lot of content from planting. I, I don't know yet if I'm going to post it or not. Um, but because there've been a few people who have taken things a little too far um, and have kind of made me feel a little bit unsafe, honestly. Um, just things too far, borderline stalking, and then, um, oh, here, well, in the past few days, like actual harassment from completely different persons. So we're getting all into the spectrum here. Um, but I can put up with mean comments and things online, but when it comes to like, actually not like feeling like not safe you know um having to put more security in my house and cameras and things like that when you have to think about those things that makes you question um which really sucks because i love sharing about agriculture and about life on the farm and the way we do things but it is what it is so that out of the way sorry that was a little rambly um let me know if you want me to post some of those planting videos. I've got a couple of week recaps and then um, I think I have a video in there somewhere answering some of like the most asked questions. So let me know about that. This is my new favorite drink. I love it. So good. I just went to the store. So but while while we're doing updates, oh no. I just thought I would do an update on the raccoons. Oh also I need to fit, get that picked up. I just broke off from the past Two days. Um, but have an update on the raccoon. Actually, raccoons. So that's been the major thing. Please hold. Hey guys. So we have oh shoot. Daryl Sue. There's Daryl right there running away. And then that's Bud. And they live in this tree now. They're full-fledged raccoons. So Bud came to me from our channel dealer, not our channel dealer, but um, one of his customers that we kind of knew, they had found a couple. Unfortunately, one died, but Bud here, I couldn't decide on a name and then asked for some suggestions on Instagram. And uh, I just kept calling him Bud. So we, we went with it. He's a, like probably two to three weeks younger than Daryl Sue, but He's so sweet, the sweetest little thing. They're both eating solid foods, especially Daryl. Daryl's all about it. And then Bud, like I said, a few weeks behind, he's so, not suck, um, he never would take a bottle or anything, um, but just kind of lick, like a little weirdo. But they did just start eating grapes the other day. But I feel like, I don't know, hey Bud. Uh, sorry, that was just gushing an idiot because, um, like with toddlers, I have to like bite the grapes in half or in smaller pieces, and then Bud quite hasn't figured out how to like get the whole thing in his mouth yet, so I have to chew his up like like a bird. So <laughs> yeah, things are great. Things are great. But look how sweet he is. I'm very happy that they finally are sticking with this tree because uh, they found a way into my roof. Um, nothing like being woken up at three in the morning by raccoons scurrying around. Um, Bud likes my dog. Bud loves Nessie. They're be best buds. Daryl isn't still not 
not sure. Um, understandable since his entire family was, was killed by dogs, so. This is. I may have reached a new low in my life, really, with this, but. I will say these are the most self-sufficient raccoons I've ever raised. Like I said, um, so I'm happy about that. I think that they're going to be just fine in the wild. Honestly, this is the friendliest they've been to me in a week. Um, they kind of stick to themselves. They run to like the little kiddie pool up, up front for water and, uh, they sometimes climb up in that big tree, you know, that Roscoe loved, that was right in the middle of my driveway. But, oh. Daryl's a big fan, and he started getting, like, really good at... Bud's crashing the party. Um, getting really good at using his little hands. So cute. Come here. You want to come here? But look how big Daryl is. It doesn't hurt them. They're like cats. This is going well. Okay, come on. Come on. So, Daryl's his own little guy. Come on. Bud. Hey. Look what I've got. Come here, Daryl. Hey! Daryl. Look. All Daryl wants to do is climb trees. Bud's still not sure about it. He's fallen off the roof several times. Yeah. Come on! it's kind of been um a blessing i hate the cicadas but they have been like really easy for them to catch and i feel like they've caught on faster than any of the other raccoons that i've known or raised myself um on how to like actually catch catch insects yeah isn't that right it's okay it's just me you another great come here Boy! Oh, there it goes. Well, that works out. Nope, we're done with the grapes tonight. So while the raccoons are exploring, a quick little video of their tree because it's so perfect. They can like climb up that little tunnel or there's like a little one up there and they can get to that little spot right there and then all the way up the top of that little rotted thing. It keeps them protected from the elements, um, but it isn't that far off the ground where I can like need a ladder. Like I can check on them really easily. And I know that they're wild animals, but it just makes me feel better to know that they're good, you know? So, all right, well now I should probably, are you coming? No, they're, they're exploring on their own now. It's been really sad. They used to follow me around everywhere, but they're super independent right now, which is great because that was the goal. Um, and this is probably the first time I've interacted with them in like a week, so. Like really, you know, more than just like handing them a grape or making sure they're alive. So it's kind of sad having a hard time with that. Good Lord, all you parents don't know how I did it because um, these are just trash pandas. But yeah, so I felt like I owed everyone an explanation since I've getting, been getting a lot of questions about it. I promise I'll be back tonight at the grocery store. I bought stuff for a new recipe video. Perfect for all of your summer potlucks. Um, and then... 
I'll probably put up some more of the planting um, stuff. If you guys want it, if you don't, just let me know uh, so I don't waste all that time editing it. And then, what else is coming? Oh, I think I have a DIY project one out of stuff from the farm. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned because those are coming. So thank you guys for sticking along when I took my little sabbatical, forced sabbatical. Um, and just be kind, but not too kind. And don't don't be creepy. Don't be that guy. I, I appreciate it. All right, well, me being my usual awkward self, that's all I got. So see ya.